Um, hello Fight Fans, this is Michael Amaco, the chief scribe of FightKings.com. I'm here at the Bald Eagle Boxing Gym um, for the trainer, for the fight up workouts in preparation for the um, Shumanov versus Bernard Hopkins uh, fight at Washington Convention Center. Right here I have with me the WBO middleweight champion, um, Quillen Kid Chocolate. How are you? I am blessed. I'm happy to be here. Okay. It's very uh, motivational. I feel a lot of motivation in the city right now. Okay. I don't know why, just the energy I feel right now. I feel like I'm always ready to go. Yeah, you're always ready and proud of to go. I mean, you've been uh, making the waves um, in boxing recently. You've been knocking out everybody. What do you ascribe? Where do you get that power from? Look at What's this knuckle right here. Yeah. See that knuckle right there? Yes. We call this AK Knuckle Sandwich. And that's where it's coming from. Uh, no, I, I just been up in there just doing my ability, showing yeah. my ability, working hard, having a, you know, the glory of God upon me, man. So it's like, yeah. with that kind of love, nobody can beat me. Okay, so um, I remember your fight with him down back a couple of months. You knocked him down a couple of times. How many times I knocked him down? Uh, it's about five or six, six times, times uncountable yeah. times, you know? So, yeah, definitely. You know, so what do you plan to do in the ring on in DC um, on Saturday night? Uh, three letter word, win. That's all. Okay, what do you know about your opening? I know he's, uh, well, the, uh, the, uh, what I know about him, yes. I know he's bald headed. I know he's from Czech Republic. I know he got a white hat on today. I noticed he didn't want to say hello to me. You know, this is a business, man. Like, yes. I, I, when you get out of the ring, yes. you're going to get your check. Mm -hmm. There's nothing emotionally involved in that. I just know that I'm coming here yes. to handle business. I train. Perfect for the fight. Yes. Um, I know I have a lot riding on me that I'm not even discouraged from that. You know that I just gotta work hard, stay focused, stay hungry, stay motivated, yes. and stay inspirational to my fans. That's what's all about. Okay, now a couple of things have been going very well for you. You got married recently. Can you tell us about that? It's an awesome feeling, especially when a uh, black American, when I'm a black Cuban American, yes. dedicated life to a woman. Okay, and, you know, I'm having a kid the way that it's supposed to be done. That, that, you know, God put up on all of us to be married with children and, and have a family. And, you know, I'm getting to the point where I know the importance of that. It's yeah. keeping me a lot more structured than I ever have in my life. You know, just, like I said, I'm just very inspired, man. Within this cap, doing it in Brooklyn, man. Having my wife part of a lot of the things that I do behind the scenes, business, and doing that. I know that everything comes from love. And, I'm just very, I'm very fortunate to have what I have. And she's very pretty, by the yeah, way. You. Fans, you need to check out. Very pretty. She's a producer, by the way, for um, the Today Show. So I, mean, I watched the Today Show. Um, um, Hoda and whatever her name, Kathy. Yeah. Kathy Lee. Kathy Lee. Yeah, I don't really watch TV, but my wife produces a lot of segments. Yeah, yeah. But not only that, she um, sits down with me, and every time I do a public speaking engagement with kids, she helps produce that as well. Okay. We come up with a good message that I can deliver to kids, and make sure I do it in a way that is. Okay, so that's you have a lot going on for you now. So now with this fight, we all many um, boxing fans and the commentators and the writers, they all believe that, and the odd makers, I think they all agree that you're gonna knock out or defeat them correctly. Um, and I'm sure you feel the same way. After you defeat him, who's next? Who would you like to fight? Uh, you know, my job is to worry about fight whoever in the world. Yeah, yeah. You know, Al Heyman is the one that's putting um, the opponents in front of me along with my manager John Cena and Jimmy McDevitt. Yeah. Golden Boy is giving me the platform. I'm ready for anybody. I told people 40 years ago, yeah. they said, who you want to fight? I said, I'll fight my own mother for the world title. Yes, so yes. now that I got the world title, I don't even got to worry about because I got so yes. many guys calling yes. me out right now, it's not going to be trouble to get a fight. I just know when I come in there, I'm coming in the feature. Okay, we know the middle way. I know that's what every fighter says that you get up to the promoter, but it went up to you. I mean, the middle way division is very deep now. You have all the other champions, some of them, Sergio Martinez. Let's get know. Sergio Martinez versus Colo. Let me get the winner. And then after, let's get Genetic Alapin after. Let's get these guys. But like I said, yes. nothing is impossible without beating this hungry, determined opponent in front of me yes. come Saturday night. That's what I can look back. That's what he can do with a lucky one. Everything is going to be set up from yes, there. Yes. That, that's why my mom told me. Right? She said, you worry too much to be in the future. You never know if you're going to ever get there. You don't even know if you can live there and get there. So I know now, coming Saturday, that I have to just keep this guy in front of me. Like I said, all these other guys are looking like food to me. Yes. And I'm home. Okay, great.
Is this your first time fighting in the nation's capital? Yeah, that's why my name rhyme here is the Capital Kid. The capital Chocolate, baby. And, and, chocolate and last word for your fans. Why should they get on the Quillian brand wagon? First of all, how did you get the name Kid Chocolate? I am Cuban-American. My father from Cuba. From Cuba. Yeah. Um, I had a Puerto Rican guy and a Cuban guy in my hometown in Grand Rapids, Michigan. By the way, that's the home, same hometown as Floyd Mayweather. The guy said, you look like the original Kid Chocolate Kid. Yeah. Like nobody. Um, moved to New York, fast forward, opened up a mic boxing encyclopedia, seen this guy. So much history with this guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he came to New York, made a big name for himself, yeah. and I did a similar story that I know I had a huge shoes to fill. Yeah. I just said, I'm just put my foot in the shoe and create my own business. Okay. That's what I do. So I let people know that, you know, it's a, it's a prideful thing for being me culturally involved with, you know, being from Cuba, I'm proud of being from Cuba and just showing out of tradition. I see, that's all great. Now, tell your fans and to your future fans and to anybody who watches boxing why did you get on the key chocolate bandwagon? Right now, I'll tell you why. It's going to grab me in the head. It's this. <laughs> yeah, it's grabbing it hard. Yeah. So y'all catch Ring TV, man. It's catching the latest, greatest on me. The most important part yeah. is that I get to inspire kids to be better at their future. That's why. I'm the champion of the world. I didn't even know what that meant. I thought it meant girls, parties, champagne. Like, what really it means changing the kids' life to be better in our future. So, I'm very thankful to hold my platform and everything is lifted in the glory of God. I cannot be defeated. I cannot. God is preparing my fingers for battle, my hands for war, baby. Okay, well, fight fans, you heard it from the champion smiles. This is Quillen, Kid Chocolate, Quillen, this is WBO, Middleweight Champion, and it's no joke, so you better tune in this Saturday on Showtime from the Convention Center. He's gonna be defending his title against one of the most rugged opponents he has faced up to date, but then. Go ahead, dude, too. Go ahead. Okay, well, good luck.